what's happening? As you can see, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A little bit different. Couldn't resist, so first of all, we gotta do a shout out here to Memento Brand. Uh, the guy's name is Dan. He is a pretty sick guy. He does um like box breaks on Twitch, so you can like you can either pick up your packs and he'll send them out to you, or if you want to, you can like like say buy ten packs of a full box and he like opens them up on Twitch with everyone and you get to see what you pull and stuff. It's do you know what it's pretty cool actually. But the main reason that I bought these Yu-Gi-Oh cards is well, first of all, the the Legend of Blue Eyes, which is the set I first opened when I was a little youth. Uh, the Korean, which makes them super cheap. You can see here, one ninety nine per pack. So I've got. First of all, let's read this little note here. It says, "Hey Ollie, thanks again for purchasing from us." Maybe you can join us next time. Or well, hoping you can join us next time. All the best, Dan. Good kid. I like Dan. He's a nice guy. So what I have here is 10, 10 packs of Legend of Blue Eyes Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards. As you can see, I've got my old school Blue Eyes back there, which is very exciting. But... What's really cool is that he actually sent me two free packs as well. So Gold Series 2014 and the Millennium Pack, which is very, very, very cool. I haven't opened Yu-Gi-Oh cards in years. I've had no interest in any of the new sets. It all got a bit confusing for me after they did the Yu-Gi-Oh GX, which is very cool. But I thought, you know, the chance to open up some reprinted Blue Eyes White Dragon packs that's too good of a chance to pass up, so I picked some up. Dan was nice enough to send me these extra cards as well. I will link his uh, store and Twitch in the description because he's a really sick guy. Whoa, these cards are crazy. So this one is the Millennium Pack. I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to have a clue about what any of these cards are. But that looks like some kind of red dragon. Look at the way that the... So it actually has hieroglyphics on the card itself. Which is absolutely wicked. These are all hollow, it looks like. Hey, it looks like Exodia. Look at him. Oh, a scapegoat. <laughs> I know that one. And some kind of trappish hole. Hey, big ups to the scapegoat. So they're really nice. The hieroglyphics on the cards are awesome. Uh, I haven't got any penny sleeves in this room right now, so I'm gonna have to just hope that I don't get anything like too awesome. The penny sleeves are in the other room. Now we're gonna open up this gold series 2014 pack. See what's up in here. The lady Miller is not interested in video cards. That's why she's not here. She's a strictly Pokemon girl, which is fair enough. I am also a strictly Pokemon boy, to be honest, but obviously. Legend of Blue Eyes. Couldn't resist. So he's a big, scary looking fella. Spell cards. More scary looking fellas. An angry goblin. Oh, this guy's got 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. So when they started bringing out black cards and white cards and stuff, whoa. This guy's gold. Oh, well, these are all gold. I don't know, just these two. Two goldy looking cards here. Honestly, no idea if these are like the best or the worst cards in the set. But I didn't buy these like for their value. I just bought these because I wanted them. So they were the two free packs. I didn't even pay for those. So thanks, Dan, for those. It's nice to see a, a scapegoat. And we've got a big stack of Legend of Blue Eyes. See, I should know the names of some of these cards. I'll at least be able to have a go at the names of some of these cards. So, we'll go into pack number one. Angry Cyclops. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is your AB. I remember these from when I was a kid. Oh, what's his name? I should have looked up a card list. 
Hey, hang on. Let me look up a quick card list. Oh, no, I can't. My phone is the camera. Ne never mind. I recognize every single one of these. It's just... It's been so long since I've watched or played any Yu-Gi-Oh! that I just can't remember what any of them are called. They're nice, though, these cards. They're lovely and crisp. Some look spider-looking thing. That monster egg. Urabi. Some book of spells. Did that first one not have a rare? Is it? Is not every pack guaranteed a rare? I thought you got a rare in every pack. But the first one, it looks like there was no rare inside. Interesting. Well, we got a rare this time anyway. <laughs> it's a fusion. A little purple cap. Lovely. So I want to see at least a couple hollows out right here. I know you can get Summon Skull, you can get Blue Eyes, you can get uh, Dark Magician in here, I think, as well. Creepy Bird Mirror. Is that Regeki or something like that? A lot of these guys are creepy when I look back at them. <laughs> they don't trust this guy. So you're not guaranteed a rare in every pack, which is interesting. But fair enough. I suppose that makes the rares a little bit cooler to see. So that's fine. Cyclops Man. Flame Ball. Book of Spells. And Crash Bandicoot's Mask with a Big Axe. Lovely. Oh god, oh god. No hollows yet. And I hope we get at least one or two hollows out of here. Ten packs, I mean. We should. The nostalgia levels are ridiculous. Giant sword. Magical leaf. That's cute. Honestly, these are the quality of these cards is ridiculous. So that's that was pack five, so there's five packs left. No hollows so far. Obviously harder to pull than I thought it would be. That grave keeper's servant or graveyard ghoul or something like that. Jaws. Angry puffballs. Who knows? Come on, the shiny. Maybe it's all saving up for the blue eyes white dragon. I'm channeling my inner blue eyes today. Monster egg. Book of magic. Two mouth dragon. <laughs> Twin headed dragon, maybe. A scary plant. Such shiny, shiny things from the new packs. So it's making me sad that I'm getting no shiny, shiny things from these old packs. I think some skull or dark magician would be one of the top, top picks, obviously, outside of blue eyes. Blue eyes is the best. Look at, look at him. The artwork on these cards is ridiculous, outrageous. A sheep. Turtle Man. We've only got two packs left. I can't believe how fast this has gone. Come on. Let's see a hollow out of here, please. Come on. Angry Panda. Nothing's happy in you, yet everything's angry. Angry Rocks. Angry Dinosaur. Angry Fire. Oh, a heart playing lady. That's nice. Right, last pack. <laughs> How fast these go when they've only got five cards in. Come on. Oh, they smell good. They smell like I remember them smelling. Oh, that smells so good. Mammoth Graveyard. I remember that.
Magical bow. Here we go. Oh, black hole. <laughs> Super rare. <laughs> black hole is cool. That used to just take everything off the field, I'm pretty sure. All right. So it wasn't a monster, but black hole. And then if we go over to our free packs as well. Take the cards that I think are cool out of here. Let's get my rares, actually. Because the rares were in, like, well, the rares are actually rares in this set, which is nice. So I believe these are just, like, modern-made reprints of the older sets. Not like they're actually, you know, they've been sat in packs for, like, that many years. Regardless, still pretty cool. I mean, that was a nostalgia trip for me. Probably pick up a few more of these just because it's kind of exciting i did want to get involved in dan's like group openings that he does just because i was watching it like well, i was watching it played back not live and it was pretty cool just like oh careful there so we got go for our rares first we got a harpy uh, a harp a harp playing lady Got some magical leaves. We got Angry Ugga Bugga Man. And we got. I can't remember this guy's name. And we got this nice red eyes black dragon looking dude. A ritual summon monster, which is cool. This guy looks like Exodia, but maybe even beefier. Oops, and then Scapegoat. Which I'm a big fan of. Love scapegoat. That's got Jerry written all over him. Got a couple of these gold guys from the gold pack. And then we got this awesome dark hole legend of blue eyes. Absolutely wicked. So you'll have to, if, I mean, I don't know if anybody watches the, the Pokemon videos anyway, but if you guys like what you see here, kind of interested in maybe picking some up yourself or just want to watch me open some more, obviously the link for the channel, uh, for Dan's Twitter, uh, Twitch, sorry, and the shop channel will be in the description. Feel free to go and give it a visit or let me know if you want to see more. I'm going to buy more anyway, so you don't really have a choice. But peace out. Thanks for watching. Maybe next time we'll get the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Peace.